Ah! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Citrus Games. Very excited today to be starting Resident Evil 3, hot on the heels of finishing Resident Evil 2. Uh, what do we want? We want standard mode, I reckon, same as last time. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked unconscious in his whole life. A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. Commitment, honesty, integrity. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. They always do a good intro. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. No, I don't believe you. Not from what I've seen. I'm going to presume that that was Nemesis, who I've heard a lot about. The last tyrant didn't really have the effect that I was hoping for. Let's see what Nemesis does for me. And we're playing on PS4 this time as well. I'm notoriously not very good with a PS4 controller. Don't really know the button layout. Oh, we're up. So who's this? Is this... Is this Jill? Definitely close the window. I don't think this is first person game though, is it? So... Probably not a great deal to do. This is the intro. Got a cool beer on the go there. What's this? So this is her layout, I guess, for the disaster that's occurring. You've left the tap running. And a gun on the side there. Oh, is that blood? Christ. Is this the end or the beginning? Jill, you are not looking good. Oh, she's going to kill herself. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Oh. It's just a dream. Gets worse every night. more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Jill's report. 
It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella, thanks to suspension. Investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it leads to the truth. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing a mixture of body fluids. Uh, contact with crows, which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should, no should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet de developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus is just a long incubation period or because we have, because we happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulties sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful after all. This could just be an extended incubation. Investigation notes. Pharmaceuticals Company, industry leader in market share, focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company, also secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility, uh, predicated the mansion incident, conspiring with Raccoon City leadership, uh, large donations to Mayor Warren's office, effectively controls the city. unsealed envelope <clears throat> they got me pinned down at home guys across the street are watching me from their window 24 7 are they irons men ah so that's brian irons umbrellas i don't know there's no real difference anyway i know what they're trying to do they want to wear me down torment me into compliance and it's working i'm barely eating barely sleeping i'm going crazy i feel like a living dead i won't let them win i've got to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever, it is they do to people like me. You must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know, as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Did she leave the bathroom? Uh... She left the tap running. September 28th, 807, Raccoon City. Who could that be? Oh, so we're back into third person now. Alright, I'm coming. Message from a colleague. Hot show, how are you holding up? Still can't believe I suspended you. Such a bullshit. You ought to pin a medal on you for making it out to that hellhole in July. Uh, I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head. Brad Vickers. Let's get the phone. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! Whoa! <sighs> the hell's this guy? Uh, this must be Nemesis. Ah! Why is he wrapped in a bin bag? can he see? Jesus Christ. I don't think a door's gonna stop him, Jill. What the hell is that thing? Jesus. 
Do oh, we haven't got a gun either. Whoa. Great, get out of that. No way. Ah! Jesus. Okay, Jill, come on, let's get out of there. Where did you have good? Jesus. Nice action set piece to start with. Okay. Oh. This guy does not give up. Ah, you've got yourself lodged, you see. Ah, it's not a good start for Jill. Get out of town. Okay. Jill? Over here! Brad! You okay? What was that thing? Tim if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. You don't have to tell me twice, Brad. This all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like our play on steroids. Can we, uh... Get a gun from the cop car? Surely. Ah, so L3 to run. So it's interesting to see it right from the very beginning here. We were pretty much just thrown straight into the police station. In the second one. Door behind you, go! Oh no! Brad's infected. Don't think about it. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Oh, Brad wasn't in it for long. Sorry, Brad. Ah, first gun. Sorry. Quick tutorial there. Oh shit. We've only got one bullet left now. Oh! Can we climb under it? Yeah. Oh, come on. There's probably going to be a lot more of these guys. We've only got one bullet. Oh. Stay back. Don't come any closer. Hey, come 
on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can tell you. The only safe place is in here. Well, then let me in if it's safe. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Missy? Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you've been doing a bang-up job. You want to help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. Sir, How's that this gonna is help? your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death than hear me eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. Well, he asked Jill. We tried to help, and he was being an ass. He deserves everything he gets. I'm sorry, I said it. He does. We're gonna get to the rooftop. Whoa! Ah, oh, not those damn things. Stay in there. Not a chance I'm wasting bullets. I learnt my lesson from last time. Shit. All right, we've only got seven bullets. Can I get round them? Oh, right. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. Yeah, well, you've got to land first. I can't jump up there, can I? This is going to go wrong. Ah, I knew it. She's like the female Nathan Drake at the moment. Jesus, he's back! On. Hurt, damn it. It's my turn, bitch. Ah! Ah! Oh, now that's how it's done. Although, <laughs> well, we don't need to get to the top of the parking lot anymore, do we? Since the helicopter's blown up. Jill is a badass from what I've seen. So, oh my god. Can nothing stop this bin bag? Christ, he's on fire and he still can't be stopped. Nicely hey, done, son. Easy, lady. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? It's Carlos. And I'm saving you. Hey, Carlos. Let's get you someplace safe. He's not dead, though, is he? Look at him. He's just stunned. I think we're in the clear. 
Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, <laughs> I get it. Let's go. Go with Carlos. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Of course we are. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all <laughs> yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. BCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Look, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Yep, definitely. Come on. It's this way. As long as it's safe. I also would like that gun as well, please, Carlos. If you don't mind, Sunshine. It's probably going to cause more damage than the pea shooter I've got. With eight bullets. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Okay. Nice to meet you. You know us Jill. now. Who are you? I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Oh. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. <laughs> okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Geared up. That sounds good to me. We need some gear. Oh, what's that? Crafting ammo guide. On the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. <laughs> Want to stay alive out there, then get these basic formulas into your skull. Handgun ammo, two gunpowder. Shotgun shells, gunpowder, and high-grade gunpowder. Mag ammo, high-grade gunpowder, times two. Once you've stocked up, get out there and join the party. So, same as number two, except I've only played Claire and... She didn't have access to the shotgun. Tabloid front page. In the grey of the morning of 25th September, a frantic caller called the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The trans 
The, the responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? We here at the News Comet have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. No more scoopable information. Topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Reactivate the power at the station. So these boxes, I think we can break, can't we, as well? What's this? Oh, okay, so we can't... We, that's got a lock on it. We can't open that yet. What's this? Oh, so we've got a dodge, dodge mechanic as well. Can we hit... Break this box. Ah, there we go. Red herb. Gunpowder. Take two green herbs. And I think as long as the thing is the same as what it was in, in number two, we should be able to combine the commanding items. Um, they can free up a slot and create something new. <clears throat> so, green and red blend, this blend of two herbs will fully restore your health, medium amount. Right, let's, let's get full health. So we've got two slots left. Let's combine these together to get more ammo. So this is uh, the old-fashioned save room. Some kind of lock mechanism there. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it is. Yes, quite. What have we got here? Herb manual. There's no place in the UBC S4. Pip squeaks who crawl back to the base every time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo-boo boo and go, go someplace else. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own meds, so get these recipes memorized. So, high potency mixture, two greens, maximum potency, green herb, red herb, or three green herbs. First aid spray, can't make these yourself, grab them when you see them. That should do it. That's, a, that's kind of easier than the other one then, because uh, two had um, the blue herb as well, didn't it? Alright, so I saw a save station as well. Let's get a save under the belt. Storage box. We'll store that so we've got four slots available. So there we go. Ready to press on. But I'm going to leave it there now, guys. So that was a good start. I'm really enjoying that. I'm liking the character for Jill. She is a badass. Just like Claire, but just a little bit more so. She just seems just... Straight in there, no messing around. I like her. This is going to be good, I think. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you thought. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you'd like to see more from me on this or any other games, then please subscribe to me and hit the uh, notification bell so you know when I next post a video. Uh, my social links are in the description below in case you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, things like that. And don't forget, I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash citrus with a 7 instead of a T. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.